Hi pilots and co-pilots, Brian here. Here I am in the default 737 as part of X-Plane 11. And one question I've been getting a lot over the last few weeks with people watching my videos is, how do you install the Zebo mod and the, or the AudioBird XP sound pack mod? And uh, I realize there's quite a few of you are wanting to know this. So I figured I would just do a five minute video on how to do it. It's really easy. I think any one of you can do it. Uh, and as you've probably seen from the videos you've been watching, it has a wonderful effect on this default 737 and really makes it pretty much payware quality. So without further ado, I'm gonna switch over to the other screen and show you the steps to get it working. So the first thing you want to do is uh, scroll down to below where my video is playing in YouTube and there'll be the link there, which says Zebo Mod, and then there's a link to xplane.org. You need to click on that link and it's gonna open it up in your web browser, whether it be on a Mac, whether it be on Linux, whether it be on your Windows PC. Uh, this is where you find it. This screen that you see in front of you here in my video will appear. Uh, Zebo keeps this page updated as he does new developments. So this won't look exactly this is, in the next few weeks, the next few months as you click on it, it does change. Um, but it's this first page here, the first page you click on. Don't worry about going to page 305. Page number one is where he keeps this updated. And it um, gives you some instructions there. But again, uh, if you're not sure about how to do it from there, just watch this video and we'll walk through it. it talks about the systems that are changed and enhanced, other things that are added on. So in th when I made this video version release, either 2.0, 9.6 or 2.95 is the latest version. Um, so there's loads of development going on all the time. There's a donate link as well. I really highly recommend if you love this, give the guy a bit of donation money because <laughs> it is payware quality. You know, even if it's only a couple of bucks, it's better than nothing. And here's the link that we're going to go to in a minute to actually download the latest version of this. Other things to note down here that we're also going to use is the um, sound file pack by AudioBird XP. The link to that is there. So I'm going to walk through that. And the last thing we're going to add here is the terrain. Uh, it's the uh, uh, terrain radar uh, display that we're going to patch in as well, which is very cool as well. So we're going to work through our way through those. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click the link Zebo mod. And that's going to bring up Google Drives. And here you'll see a bunch of files in the middle, Boeing 737, whichever version. So here we've got version two underscore nine six there. That's dot zip. So the zip files, standard zip files, I'm pretty sure all of us can open one of them. So I'm going to right click on that, download to my machine. Just gonna save it, okay. Close that tab down. I'm going to get the AudioBird XP file. I'm going to go to that. I'm going to right click on this. The latest version, release candidate 1B8. I think that would be the version to get. I'm going to right click on this. Download. Download it anyway. Okay, so it's too big for. Google to virus scan, but I have a virus scanner on my PC. Mac people, Linux people, I'm sure you trust your systems and pretty sure you think you don't need a virus scanner, but uh, you do your own thing. So down that comes, close that down. Last thing, I'm going to go and get this terrain on ND as well. Okay, I'm not signed in on this particular session. Um, but again, if you have an account with xplane.org, free account, allows you to download loads of stuff. If you don't already know about getting stuff from xplane.org, you really should. And click on the download from there and save it. I've already actually done that and I will use that download. I wasn't logged in for this session. Now I've switched over to my file browser for a minute. And I apologize for those of you with small screens or on mobile devices who are watching this. It might not be the easiest to see. I recommend viewing this in 1080 if you've got the opportunity on your local machine. 
So this is the my X-Plane 11 folder. This is where I happen to put it. I have an F drive, which is on SSD. You might have it on your C drive. You might have it, I don't know where it goes on a Mac, but you know where it could be. You don't know where it's going to be on uh, Linux either. But anyway, you've got your standard X-Plane folder, and these are the contents in it. I've got some other stuff because I've installed further stuff. But you go into your aircraft folder, and then the default planes are stored, uh, stored, stored in the laminar research folder. So we'll go into there, and you can see there is a Boeing 737-800. That's the default aircraft. So I'm right-clicking on that because this is Windows. I'm clicking on Copy. I go back up to Aircraft, and I now paste that in there. It's going to make a copy of that entire aircraft folder. And now we're going to have to rename that. Now it's copied over. Now the renaming of this has to be B737-800 X. Right, it's now renamed. I'm going to open up that folder. We have a series of files in there, the standard 737 files. The next thing you want to do is go and find the files that you've just downloaded and open them up. So I'm just going to do that. So here I'm in the downloads folder where my PC downloads the files to. If you have Windows, you might find you have a, a standard download link. Um, on a Mac and Linux, you can find your own. So here I've got the three files I downloaded. I'm going to start with the Boeing 737-800X2-96, which is the Zebo mod. I'm just going to double click on that. There we go. So I'm going to select everything that's in there. Copy. I'm never now going over to my other folder and I'm going to paste it in there. Replace files and destination. Now I've switched back. I'm going to go back up a level. That was so that supplied the Zebo mod. Easy, huh? Now to do the Audio Bird XP Immersion Pack. I'm going to double click on that. That's opened it up into Windows default zip program there. So it's still within the folder structure. I can look inside now. There are some installation notes there. You can read them and it will explain how to do this. Um, I'm just going, I'm going to put these both in place actually. But the F mod is the important one. Maybe I'll just show you that today. So again, F mod, copy. All right. Let's go to our plane. Paste. Boom. Wasn't that easy? Now the last one is a little different, and I already have this installed. So, oops. Let's go back there. Let's go back to my download folder. Terrain radar. This one's a default plugin. It will work for any plane that you've got installed. So you can. It's bigger than just the 737. This is way more useful. But this is a terrain radar there. So you just go into the zip, copy. This one doesn't go in the plane folder, so it doesn't go in here. You go back up, past aircraft, back to the X Plane 11 folder, into resources, and then into plugins, and paste it in there. I already have it. So here I am. I've just clicked on X Plane 11, and I'm now loading it. So I'm going to do new flight. Oh, and look at this, Boeing 737-800X. It's not this one. This is the other. This is the new. This is the Zebo mod with the sound pack. It was that easy. You copied the, the airplane over, then you applied each of the mods in turn over the top. Nothing to customize, nothing to change. I haven't got any... Uh, graphic packs installed on this one, but that's all right. I'm going to go to San Francisco. I'm going to start flight and we're going to see if this has worked. So we should be able to tell quite quickly. I will flick the power on DC power on 
and we'll see if the sound sounds different we'll get the apu running see if the sound sounds different and we'll go down we'll check the fmc to make sure that the zebra mod has taken effect uh, i'll carry on powering up the plane for a few seconds until we get to the terrain we've got enough powered up systems that we can get the terrain radar running as well and then that's it that's all there is to getting the zebo mod the audio bird xp sound pack installed and the terrain radar all installed um, if you've tried flying the default 737 before and then try it after, I think you'll find it's an absolutely fantastic enhancement to X-Plane 11. So let me know if this video helped. I, I think I went through all the steps and I really do say it is super easy. Just you can't mess anything up. And you know what? Even if you do, if you use the X-Plane 11 updater, it will fix any of the files you might have got wrong. That's the wonder of X-Plane 11. It's a, it's a great install system. So give it a go and let me know how you get on. Hey, so it's loaded up. I have a few other systems there. And listen, can you hear? Passengers on board. Now they probably wouldn't have loaded by this time, but that's a good sign. Now, I don't have any quick views set up right now. Um, it's not going to be easy for me to navigate around but let's see if i can just do it from here shall i that sounded good that didn't sound like it normally does right now i'm going to start the apu and let that start getting up and running okay master caution oh, look at this okay if I come across here and zoom in, we can already hear there's more sounds than the default 737. So, yep, the Audiobird XP Sound Pack RC1 Build 8 is installed, and the Zebo Mod version 2.95 is installed. So, you obviously haven't updated the number. I can go to the extras for the uh, Audiobird XP thing. I click on F Mod, I can turn passengers on or off, chatter on or off crew announcements regular busy airport I can then go to next page I can alter the volumes you can see I've already set these in the past I'll bring my gyro and AC fan volumes down a little my engines nice and loud I like that and then you can save those now if we go back to menu we can go in and there you go there's the FMC we would do position it's a full pretty much a full Boeing FMC it's getting there absolutely brilliant Oh, APU. Let's see if I can just force the engines to start just so you can hear it. For those of you that haven't installed the Zebo mod or haven't even heard the videos with it, there you go. Packs have just started. So I've actually got to turn packs off. So this is a really weird view. I haven't set up quick views on this. I do have a video on that if you're interested in that. Go look at my videos, there's a really easy video on how to set up quick views to navigate around your cockpit. But I'm just going to give this a flick and listen to the sound, and then we'll call this video done. Is this going to work? Yep. Here we go, listen to the rumble. spinning up. I'll just do the other one and we'll call this done. I just love the sound of the engine starting up. There we go, right engine. So we're going to watch N2.
maybe I'll just throw in a few in. Spinning up. There we go. Sounds like a real jet, doesn't it? Ah, music to my ears. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. If you found this informative, let me know. Like my video, like the channel, subscribe, whatever it is people do. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot.